Hey there, are you ready to break free from the shackles of high costs and limited control? Imagine a world where your desktop is faster, more secure, and completely customizable without breaking the bank. Today on Tun Does Linux and More, we're diving into why now is the perfect time to adopt Linux desktops for both enterprises and home users. Stick around because I'll reveal proven strategies to make your transition smooth and successful. Linux has been around for decades, but has often been overlooked in favor of Windows. However, recent advancements in user-friendly distributions and cost-saving benefits are making it a serious contender for both businesses and individuals. In this video, we'll explore why switching to Linux makes sense today and how you can do it without headaches. Linux offers several compelling advantages over Windows, making it an attractive option for enterprises and home users alike. Here are the key benefits and steps to evaluate its feasibility. Cost savings. Why? Linux is free to use, eliminating licensing fees associated with Windows. Additionally, many open source applications, like LibreOffice, can replace costly proprietary software. What are the steps? 1. Calculate current IT expenses, including licensing and support costs. 2. Compare these costs to Linux's free or low-cost alternatives. 3. Assess potential long-term savings in maintenance and support. Security benefits. Why? Linux is less prone to malware and viruses due to its robust permission system and smaller attack surface. What are the steps? 1. Conduct a security audit of your current systems. 2. Research Linux distributions with strong security features like Selinux, App or More. 3. Plan for regular updates using tools like APT or YUM. Flexibility and customization. Why? Unlike Windows, Linux allows users to tailor their environment to specific needs, from lightweight setups for older hardware to advanced configurations for developers. What are the steps? 1. Identify your specific needs, like lightweight desktop environments like XFCE for older PCs. 2. Test various distributions, like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, in a virtual machine or on a spare device. 3. Select a distribution that aligns with your requirements. Enterprises must approach Linux adoption strategically to minimize disruptions while maximizing benefits. Here are the four main strategies with detailed steps. Gradual migration. Why? Allows coexistence with Windows systems, reducing disruption during the transition phase. What are the steps? 1. Conduct compatibility testing for critical applications using tools like Wine or virtual machines. 2. Deploy Linux on non-critical systems first, like IT or development teams. Gradually expand deployment based on feedback and resolved issues. 3. Full replacement. Why? Provides complete system control and eliminates dependency on proprietary software, but requires extensive planning and training. What are the steps? 1. Develop a migration plan that includes timelines, resource allocation, and fallback options. 2. Train employees through workshops or e-learning platforms on Linux basics and productivity tools like LibreOffice or GIMP. 3. Roll out the replacement in phases, starting with departments most adaptable to change. Hybrid environments. Why? Combines the best of both worlds by leveraging virtualization or cross-platform applications during transition. What are the steps? 1. Set up virtualization tools like VirtualBox or VMware to run Windows applications on Linux systems if needed. 2. Use cross-platform software like Firefox, Slack that works seamlessly across both operating systems. Three. Monitor performance and user feedback before scaling further. Customize distributions. Why? Tailors the OS to organizational needs, but requires significant technical expertise and resources for development and maintenance. What are the steps? 1. Identify specific organizational requirements, like security policies, hardware compatibility. 2. Collaborate with open source developers or hire in-house expertise to create a custom distribution based on popular distros like Debian or Fedora. Three. Regularly update and maintain the custom OS to stay aligned with security patches and new features. For home users, simplicity and ease of use are critical when transitioning from Windows to Linux. Choose beginner-friendly distributions. Examples include Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorin OS, or Pop OS. Steps. 1. Research distributions designed for beginners. 2. Download ISO files from official websites. 3. Test them using a live USB before installation. Highlight cost savings. Replace paid software like Microsoft Office with free alternatives such as LibreOffice. What are the steps? 1. List the current paid software you use. 2. Find open source alternatives for each application. 3. 
Test these alternatives on your current system before switching entirely. Leverage community support. Join forums like Ubuntu forums or Reddit's R Linux for noobs. What are the steps? 1. Register on popular Linux support forums. 2. Search for solutions to common issues you encounter. 3. Participate in discussions to learn tips from experienced users. Ensure application compatibility. Use tools like Wine or Proton for gaming to run Windows applications. What are the steps? 1. Identify essential Windows applications you need. 2. Check compatibility using online databases like WineHQ. 3. Install compatible apps through Wine or find native Linux alternatives. Switching to Linux comes with challenges that can be mitigated through proper planning. User resistance. Why? People are often hesitant about change due to unfamiliarity. What are the steps? 1. Communicate the benefits of switching clearly, like cost savings, security. 2. Provide hands-on training sessions tailored to different skill levels. 3. Offer ongoing support through an internal help desk or community resources. Compatibility issues. Why? Some hardware drivers or software may not work out of the box. What are the steps? 1. Create an inventory of all hardware and software currently in use. 2. Research driver availability for your hardware on Linux forms. 3. Test compatibility using live USBs before committing fully. Hidden costs, training and support. Why? Initial costs may arise from training users or hiring support staff. What are the steps? 1. Develop a budget that includes initial training costs. 2. Use free online resources like YouTube tutorials or open source documentation for training materials. 3. Monitor support needs post-migration and adjust resources accordingly. By following these detailed steps under each strategy, enterprises and home users can ensure a smooth transition while maximizing the benefits of adopting Linux desktops over Windows systems. So there you have it. A roadmap to adopting Linux desktops whether you're running an enterprise or just looking for a better option at home. The time has never been better to make the switch. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more content about making technology work for you.